Finally for us, when you think of summer traditions in western New York, there is one place sure to show up on a lot of lists. The family owned, family friendly transit drive in in Lockport has been a warm weather favorite for people here for the better part of a century. But the future of the drive in seems a little uncertain, though the most recent owner hopes to help folks rest easy knowing that it will be kept in good hands. Channel 2's Danielle Church is live at the drive in now. And Danielle, today we learned that pretty soon it will no longer be family owned. What can you tell us about this sale? That's right, Michael. So Rick Cohen is the uh, former owner. His family has owned this drive in for the last three generations, but he is giving it up well, selling it actually because he wants to retire. He wants to hike. He just wants to enjoy life outside of working. And he started sale discussions with Dipson Theaters back in October. Dipson is owned by a Buffalo native. The drive-in will be its eighth location with six in Western New York already and one theater in Pennsylvania. Dipson began managing the transit drive-in when it opened last month. Rick says he doesn't expect anything to really change, but says Dipson has an advantage when it comes to staffing because they can move employees around with all of its locations. Rick's grandfather opened the transit drive in 65 years ago. I asked him if he hopes Stipson will keep his fam family's legacy alive here. It's entirely up to them. You know, when, when they buy something, it's, uh, you know, what they do with it is their business. However, you know, I chose them because they are in the theater business and this is a, this is a theater. And uh, so I'd expect them to keep it operating as a theater. That, but that's entirely up to them. And uh, it's better than selling it, uh, selling it to an out of town investor or developer that might keep it open for a year or two until they find something better to do with the property. And uh, that's what happens far too often with drive in theaters is people use them as land banks and investment properties until they have uh, something better to put on them. And the drive in theaters, I think, are important to the community. So Rick wouldn't say exactly how much the drive-in is being sold for, but says he expects the sale to close within the next one to two weeks. Rick also tells me that uh, he actually did receive a few higher offers than the one that Dipson gave him, but says he trusted them the most. Michael. All right, good to know that. So Danielle, Rick says he doesn't expect a whole lot of change, right? I know that he has an emotional connection there, so he wants to make sure that that's the case. Um, but why does he trust Mike and Dipson so much to come in and run this place. So Rick actually knows the owner of Dipson Theaters, which is Michael Clement. The two went to Williamsville East High School together and, you know, a lot older now, but they have remained in the same social circles over the years, especially being in the theater business. And Rick tells me that Mike uh, so the two not only know each other, but Rick and Mike uh, actually uh, 10 to 15 years ago, Mike had come to Rick and said, if you ever choose to sell the drive in, I'm interested. And well, obviously that didn't change because now here we are 2022 and Rick is selling the drive in to Mike. Uh, and again, that deal is expected to close within the next one to two weeks. Interesting that they have that connection and Danielle will have more on this story tonight at 11. Thank you very much.